welcome to asbab tutoring another online lesson series in this lesson we'll go over arithmetic reasoning review 2 so this review 2 actually tied with air panel practice test 2 in the application i'll show you in a second um before you start make sure that you have a pen and a piece of paper so you could write all the questions in your notebook and practice by yourself and if you want to request a tutor um, that could help you to prepare for that test use this link or on the app so you could request a tutor and um, and if you want to study by yourself download this application and practice you know as web tutoring help over 9000 successful candidate to get their um, a dream job in the US military so let's get started problem number one aviation gasoline was 45 pounds per feet cube or 6 pounds per gallon. How many gallons are there in 10 feet cube of aviation fuel? So before you do the problem, make sure that you read the question first. Okay? It's very important to read the question and fully understand. Don't look the numbers and try to do the problem. So read first time. Make sure that you understand. If you don't understand first time, read it again. If you know your basic math operation, these are very, very simple. So make sure that you read it. So what do you have to do here? So you cannot convert from feet cube to gallon. So what do you have to do? You have to make this feet cube into pound and then pound to gallon. So let's do it. So if you multiply 45 by 10, so that gives you um, a pound. So that is 450 pound. And if you divided 450 by 6, because um, 1 gallon equal to 6 pound. So if you divided that, that gives you 75. So that is the correct answer. Next problem. An equilateral triangle has the same perimeter as a square whose side is 24 units what is the length of each side of the triangle so what you could do here so you know that there are two figures right so this this and then um you need to find out the um the length of each side of the triangle so let's draw two figures make life so easier so equilateral triangle with a square so draw a square and also equilateral triangle so you know equilateral triangle means a triangle with all the sides are same and e square has all the sides are same too but e square has four side and triangle has three sides so this is actually 24 this is 24 this is 24 this is 24 right and if you find a perimeter if you want to find a perimeter so what do you have to do you have to add them up. So 24 plus 24 plus 24 plus 24. So that gives you 96. So this perimeter equivalent to the perimeter of this. So this, 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 right? So um, if you divided this 96 divided by 3, so that will give you the um, one side of this equilateral triangle. So you could do that 96 divided by 3 so 9 divided by 3 is 3 6 divided by 3 is 2 so that is 32 um, unit okay so uh, make sure that you understand this problem let's go to the next one next problem is how long it will take to earn six thousand dollar interest if you invest twenty five hundred dollar at six percent interest rate right so if you watch our previous video there is a formula called i equal to p r t right p is the principal right r is the rate and then time you have to find t equal to you have to find the t so from here you could write t equal i over p r so let's solve this so you could see here interest here is um 600 principal is 2500 
rate is 0 0.06 that means anytime you multiply percent you need to make this percent into a decimal right and then do that then if you want to solve for x so that solve equal x equal um 6000 divided by 2500 times 0 0.06 and if you just simplify that if you just simplify that first multiply 2500 times 0 0.06 and then divided by um uh, divided by that 600 divided by that that gives you four years so that is the correct answer so um next problem what is the average of one half one four and one over six you know average means you have to add the numbers or fraction and then divided by the number or fraction so you have three fractions in here so right so what you have to do you have to add them up and then divided by three so let's do it so you know if you want to add fraction the first thing you have to do you have to find the common denominator so two four and six right so the common denominator two four and six will be 12 right now you have to find the equivalent fraction so what you need to multiply two to get 12 here so if you want to multiply two by um 2 by 6 that gives you 12 here you need to multiply by 3 you have to net multiply by 2 you have to do the same thing on the top this 2 here 3 here 6 here and if you do that that gives you 6 over 12 3 over 12 and 2 over 12 and if you add them up that gives you 11 over 12 so as I said average means um, add the numbers or fraction and then divided by the number or fraction so you have three fractions so you have to divide you remember how to divide fraction right you remember that k c f that means kentucky chicken fry so what you have to do you have to keep whatever you have in the left side put the division sign into multiplication and then flip it now after you flip it you need to multiply top to top bottom to bottom so that gives you 11 over 36 so that is the correct answer so let's go to the Next problem. This is a very interesting problem. So let's do it. A plumber charges $45 for a service call plus $25 per hour that he works at a customer's house. If he conducted a service call that takes three hours, what will be the customer's bill? So what do you have to do? So you know the $45 is like one time fee okay and then $25 per hour so many people like get confused with this problem okay so they add them together and then um, multiply by three no that's not the case so what do you have to do first so let's do it so the $45 fee is one time fee right and then $25 per hour for three hours so if you multiply 25 times three that gives you 75 and then if you add them up that gives you 120 dollars so the correct answer is 120 dollars so this is another problem problem number six so before we start um, this one let's make sure that you take some time and read the question and try to do by yourself okay if you don't give time to your brain to learn it's never gonna learn okay so this always first try by yourself okay so then you could understand the problem fully then try to watch the um, video okay all right out of 80 t-shirts 10 percent are white 30 percent are blue and rest are red how many t-shirts are red there are many ways you could do it okay now one way you could do it add the fraction add the percent together right so 30 plus 10 is 40 percent right and if you multiply 40 percent by 80 so that gives you the how many t-shirts are white and blue and then subtract from 80 give you the correct answer so let's do that so as i said add them up 10 plus 30 that gives you 40 find a 40 percent of 80 that gives you um 32 now if you um subtract 32 from 80 so that gives you 48 so there is another way you could do it so so red plus blue equal to 30 plus 
10 is 40 percent right the remainder is um what percent right so that means 100 percent is always minus 40 that gives you 60 percent right so 60 percent red so if you multiply that 80 times 0 0.6 so that you see here that gets 48 so either way so whatever way you could do it you could understand practice okay next problem what is the total thickness when three pieces of wood um one half inch five over six inch and seven over eight inch joined together this problem is just straightforward right total thickness what do you have to do you have to add them up so let's do it so as i um said before anytime you add a fraction what do you have to do first you have to find the common denominator so you have two six and eight so if you find the common denominator two six and eight so let's do that so uh two four six eight ten da, 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 da. it's 24 right if you find list all of those so six is um six twelve eighteen twenty four thirty right for the eight you have eight 16 24 32 so you could see here now um 24 is the smallest common right so that is the least common multiple so now what you have to do you have to find the equivalent fraction so what do you need to multiply 2 to get 24 so you need to multiply that by 12 multiply that by 12 that by 4 that by 4 and that by 3 that by 3 so now if you simplify that that gives you 12 over 24 20 over 24 and 21 over 24 so that gives you 53 over 24 right and if you turn into a mixed number right so 24 that divided by um 53 right so now 24 goes into 53 is twice this is 48 and then if you subtract it you get 5 and if you have a remainder you need to put a line the remainder go always top of the line and this is 24 so that how you got 2 and 5 over 24 okay so just practice multiple times you remember how to do that um, um how to add fraction and then you you will be, you'll be able to do this problem the next problem a small store sold for um, 26,500 of which 20,000 was paid for building and goods. The remainder was paid for its land value at a rate of $50 per square feet. How many square feet of the land were there? So what do you have to do? Um, so you, what you have to do, you have to subtract 20,000 from 26,000 and then divide it by 50. So if you subtract that, 26,500 minus 20,000, so that gives you um, 6,500, right? And then if you divide it by 50, so what you could do here, you could just cross the zero out and then 5 goes into 65 is 13 times and you have a zero remainder so the answer is 130 so this is the fast way you could um simplify this problem next problem on monday the water was shut off three times for one four hours two third hours and one and three four hours how long was the water shut off for right so what do you have to do you have to add this um a fraction and mixed number together so you know if you want to add fraction you have to make um this mixed number into improper fraction so that gives you four times one is four plus three is seven over seven over four so now you have to find the common denominator which is 12 right you could see here um and then you have to find the equivalent fraction so that gives you three over 12 8 over 12 and 21 over 12 and if you add them up so that gives you 32 over 12 and if you simplify that 
that gives you 8 over 3 and if you uh, turn into a mixed number that gives you 2 and 2 thirds. So you did this type of problem before, right? So learn how to add a mixed number first and then you try by yourself, okay? So I want you to um, practice by yourself first to make sure that you understand the problem and then ask the video. That will help you a lot. So let's go to the... A photograph is 8 inches long and 6 inches wide. If it is enlarged to 12 inches long, how many inches wide will it be? So you remember um, how to do this type of problem, right? So if you want to do this type of problem, you need to use a formula called part over whole equal to part over whole. If you watch our previous video, many video has this formula, okay? So let's apply those to the problem. So you could write part and whole wherever you write um, up and down of this fraction. So this is, if you write this one is a part, this one is a whole, this one is a part, you have to find the whole, right? So that gives you, um, let me write that down here, PW equal to PW. So plug the value here, 8 over 6 equal to 12 over x, x, right? Now what you could do, you could cross multiply. If you cross multiply, that gives you 8x equal to 12 times 6, right? And if you divided both sides by 8, so that gives you x equal to 9 inches. So that is the final answer. Next problem, if 36 people can fit in one bus and there are 144 people to carry them, <clears throat> Next problem, if 36 people can fit in one bus and there are 144 people to carry them, how many buses are there to carry every person? So what do you have to do? This is a very simple and easy problem. You just need to divide that, right? So let's do it. So if you divide it um, 144 by 36, you could get this answer is four. So you need four buses to carry all the people. Next problem, the regular cost of a movie ticket is 1350, right? If it is on sale for 60% off, what is the cost of movie ticket now? So what do you have to do? Anytime if you have a percent, you need to make this percent into a, a decimal, right? And then multiply with this with that number. So that gives you the discount. And then you have to subtract it from the original price to get the actual price or sell price. So let's do that. So 60% of 1350, that gives you 16.50 times 0.6. So that gives you 810 right and if you subtract 810 from 1350 so that gives you 540 so that is the correct answer so practice this problem um over and over and watch the video and then download this application it has all the final practice tests that is actually tied with air final practice test 2 okay it has many other problem you know there are 15 to 16 different versions of ASVAB test and you don't know which one you're going to get. So that's why you need more and more practice um, to get all the questions you need to know um, to do good in the ASVAB test. Okay? Good luck.